I trained in University Hospital Galway and learnt my obstetrics in that department. The most straightforward mistruth about Savita is that her death was not affected by the absence of an abortion service. The inquiry into her death was fairly clear on a number of facts that are just incontrovertible and really are uncontroversial. Uh, she had a condition where a miscarriage was inevitable. You know, the, the pregnancy was going to be lost and she was very sick. The second fact is that she requested early in the course of this inevitable miscarriage, she requested repeatedly for an abortion, which if she had had an abortion, she would have survived and most likely be alive today and we would not know her name. The reason why the consultant and the staff repeatedly refused her request was the Eighth Amendment. If the Eighth Amendment is removed, there is no reason to believe that the rate will change, that it will either go up or go down, because we have no reason to believe that the Irish rate is any different from the British rate. And the abortions that Irish women have are included in the statistics that Britain produces every year. So if the Eighth Amendment is removed, abortions will take place earlier because women won't be delayed in accessing them by having to make travel arrangements. And the abortions that are happening in Ireland already with abortion pills uh, will then be carried out with the support of healthcare staff. And that's what will change. Because this is a practical vote, it's a practical question about having an abortion service in Ireland. If the Eighth Amendment is removed and we have a, a yes vote, that we will need to go on to campaign for proper access, for this to be part of a proper health service, for proper access to the full range of reproductive health services, for a health service that trusts women. Vote yes on May 25th.